From the roar of the crowd to the roar of the engine, this is Pit Pass. Here's your host, Ron Fox. Hello and thanks for joining us for another edition of Pit Pass right here on WHBL. The weather didn't cooperate with several of the racetracks across the Commonwealth this week and some events were canceled. Fortunately, Dog Hollow Speedway was able to complete their program on Friday night where 77-year-old cowboy Jim Kennedy won the feature in the 305 Sprints. And we have an exciting show this week. Yeah, that's because you got to sit in a race car. <laughs> yes, I did. Jan gives us a look at the three-quarter scale late models that you can see at Marion Center Speedway. Speaking of which, it's highlights from Saturday night's action at Marion Center. It's being called the New Bradford Speedway. Weekly racing has returned to the quarter mile bullring south of the New York border. And we will preview some special upcoming events for this week. We went to Marion Center Speedway to take in their 6th Division racing program on Saturday night. For being a rather remote racetrack, it certainly has a large draw of drivers and spectators. It was Fan Appreciation Night, and fans got to go onto the track to meet with the drivers, get their autographs, and take pictures. Now on the highlights from the evening. The Strictly Stock started off the night with their 15-lap feature. Jason Beechner in the blue number four would dive to the low side of turns one and two in an attempt to wrestle second place from the 44L of Bruce Large, while Jody France paced the field on the first lap. Going into turn three, Beechner would continue to run the bottom, while Justin Queen in the blue deuce holds down the fourth spot. As they complete lap one, Beechner has second as Queen makes it three wide going into one. He pushes high and loses momentum. Meanwhile, Large bobbles as he races Beechner. Queen then closes the gap. Up front, Beechner makes it stick off of turn four and takes over the lead from France as they put two in the books. On the same lap, Queen overtakes France for second place going through three and four as Jim Hamilton in the 27 moves up to four. As Queen tried to track down Beechner, France gets out of shape in turn four, allowing Hamilton to move past and into third place. While the top four cars got strung out, Nick Fulmer pressured large for the fifth position. After a restart with two to go, Queen had a shot at the lead, but slides high through three and four, losing ground to Beechner. Jason Beechner would go on to take the checkers in the strictly stock 15 lapper. Queen, Hamilton, France, and large make up the remainder of the top five. The one of Rod Phillips and Denton Boyer in the 56 led the super late models to the green for their 25 lap event. As they go into the first turn, Dave Blazovich in the black 18 works under Boyer while Wally Fox hugs the bottom to make it a three wide battle for second place. Going into three, Fox loses the handle to bring out the yellow. The restart almost looks like the start of the race. Only this time, it is the one of Dane Laraway working the lower groove. Off of two, he pulls alongside Blazovich as Boyer runs in second. Then as they go into three, Boyer runs the cushion, allowing Blazovich to close on him. Blazovich would complete the pass. Behind them, number 17, Jim Boyer, gets on the binders to avoid hitting the 44 of Rick Davis, thus stacking up the field. Denton Boyer would lose third place to Laraway going through one and two. Davis would try to close on the 56 machine as they race down the backstretch. Phillips continued to lead the field, with Blazovich a few car lengths behind in second place. One driver making an impressive charge through the field was the 71 of Billy Esch. Here he takes fourth away from Denton Boyer. With less than two laps to go, Esch gets by Laraway to pick up another position. Rod Phillips would hold off Blazovich to take the checkers and extend his points lead over Blazovich. Billy Esch came home third, followed by Dane Laraway and Denton Boyer. The 20 lap street stock race might be one many competitors would like to forget. As they are about to complete the first lap, pole sitter Gary Furman Jr. gets turned around off of turn four. On the second attempt to get the race underway, AJ Flick in the number two ride jumps out to the lead. Points leader Nate Smith in the yellow 28N started deep in the field. He quickly picked off positions on his way to the front. 
Here he works the inside of another 28, that of Gabe Schaefer, to take over 7th place. On a restart with 5 laps down, Flick still has the lead. But back under green, the 15 of Eric Lingenfelder and 6 of Tim White make contact, which results in a majority of the field being collected in the ensuing crash. About a third of the field would have to retire for the evening, with others heavily damaged. This would move the 222 of Jeff Sweeney up to second on the restart. Ray Hickok Jr. held the third spot, with Smith in fourth. A lap later, Flick pushes through one and two. Sweeney seizes the opportunity to move under Flick and into the top spot. Smith would eventually take the runner-up position away from Flick as they go through three and four. Just past the halfway point, White's night got worse with this self-spin and collision with the tire barrier that brought out the caution flag. As the laps wound down, Smith continued to hold on to second and attempt to close on Sweeney, but a mechanical problem ended his evening. From there, it was easy sailing for the 222 of Jeff Sweeney. AJ Flick was the runner up, with third through fifth going to Ray Hickok Jr., Rich Waltman, and Eric Lingenfelder. That was a massive pileup in the street stock race involving most of the cars, and a third of the cars were no longer able to compete. But fortunately, no one was seriously injured. We will have more highlights from Marion Center Speedway later on in the show. It's being called the New Bradford Speedway. More on the rebirth of this tight little bull ring when we return. When you think golf carts, think Jake's Custom Golf Carts. With over 300 stock and lifted carts at their shop, you'll find the cart you need or have Jake's build one to your specs. Custom airbrushing, lift kits, sport shifters, rear seats. You name it with the expertise and craftsmanship people have come to expect from Jake's. Come see for yourself why Jake's is the nation's premier golf cart provider. Jake's Golf Carts, Route 522 McVeigh Town. Online at jakesgolfcarts.com. <laughs> 